missionary taking his fight for faith on the road. Let us worship began on California's beaches last month in defiance of the state's lockdown orders. Now it's spreading to Portland where the movement saw their largest gathering yet. The organizer working to bring a message of hope to cities rocked by violence. He joins me now with more. Welcome, Sean Foyt. Sean, thanks for being here. I remember inviting you back because you said, I'm going to Portland. And I said, you got to tell me how it's going. Tell me what you saw uh, in Portland. Man, I took you at your word. I, I am excited to share with you some good news from Portland. Last night we gathered thousands of people that, that came together. The church showed up in Waterfront Park. And uh, we don't have the, the total estimates. Somewhere between four and 7,000 is what they're estimating. And uh, we gathered together, white, black, Hispanic. We, we came, we released our song of hope over this city. Uh, people gave their life to Jesus, hundreds of people. We baptized people in the river behind us. And I mean, it was so much joy that, that, that took over the streets of that city last night. That's amazing. Uh, and it's twofold. I mean, first and foremost, the message of Jesus Christ and the salvation message and the things that are central to what you do. But you've also been calling for pastors to get politically involved. In Portland, we've seen riots and violence. There's been lockdowns. The church has been treated very in a very different way than riots. What was your message to the group about that as well? Because I presume you were in defiance of some lockdown order with this event. Well, our, our tagline for, for, for last night was riots to revival, which we're also mm -hmm. carrying with us into Seattle tonight. And we just believe that the church has the ability to change the narrative. You know, all of America has just seen these buildings burning and they've seen this destruction and this violence. And the news, the mainstream media seems to be infatuated with this. But I'm telling you, there's another story of what God is doing in these cities and the church is rising up church and faith so badly needed. Sean, my producer told me not to make any more impromptu invites, so I can't promise, but I have a feeling we will hear we will hear from you again because this feels like the beginning of a movement and something very big. Sean, thank you uh, so much for what you're doing for faith uh, and to get politically involved, which is what we need more people of faith doing. Sean Foyt, thank you so Amen. much. Good luck in Seattle. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.